Ahoy and welcome to the channel. The Sons of Attila Dev Server 2 has just dropped and that means that the live server is not far away and we've got some exciting news to share, especially in the naval department. The last few weeks I've had videos coming out which is discussing the various impacts that different game metas have and the damage models etc, how to shoot. And one of the things that's come out of it is that people aren't happy with how damage control is handled. Well, there's going to be a big change to that. Ships starting from frigates have had the following mechanics added to them in the dev server. They've had unrepairable hull breaches added, which is great because I really feel it's going to shake up the torpedo game and make it worthwhile again because let's face it, torpedo meta has been lacking for about six months now. Something changed and they became less effective. And one of the things that stops them being effective is the fact that flooding can be repaired almost instantly. So with this change, each compartment of a ship will be destroyed to the point where it's now impossible to fix a hull breach and pump water out of it, meaning that you will have to close off your compartment, so to speak. This type of destruction depends on the size of the ship and the damage that has been taken. But for example, a destroyer's compartment will be destroyed completely if it takes damage roughly equal to that of a torpedo of about 250 kilos of TNT, which means if you get a torpedo hit now, you will critically damage that compartment and they will not be able to repair it or stop the flooding. Now, I don't have access to the dev server. I don't usually use it, so I haven't been able to test this, but I will wait for the live server, but I think this is going to be an amazing change. Um, if the compartment of the ship is destroyed, then the ability to activate survivability control will be stopped for that compartment. For other compartments not destroyed, repairing and water pumping still works. That means you can take a hit to the bow section and it will completely flood. If a compartment is destroyed while the water is being pumped out, the pumping is then interrupted and it will flood. Once the destroyed compartment is entirely flooded, a counter flooding system will be activated and the water will be balanced across the compartment rooms. Like I said, I'm not sure how this is going to work, but it does sound much, much more realistic. Uh, from one side of this ship to the other, and that'll help straighten out the balance of the ship because there will be severe uh, listing and things going on. This causes the ship's weight to increase, which means that the ships will probably sit lower in the water as a result. They'll go slower and they'll handle much differently. Uh, for ships already mentioned in the classes above, they've also added the restriction on the size of the shell caliber that will do damage to below the waterline. So auto cannons and small caliber shells will no longer cause hull breaches to destroyers. So it used to be a bit of a tactic that you could spray the waterline with a reasonably heavy caliber auto cannon and cause flooding. That won't be the case. Um, the mechanics for flooding ammunition magazines has been reworked. Now if the compartment is flooded, you can still use the ammo, but it will take longer to reload and it will be less likely to detonate. So you may have to decide between flooding and fire, so to speak. Large blue water ships starting from frigates also have had their propeller shafts separated from the engine room into separate modules and the destruction of a shaft will lead to the loss of speed. It'll be interesting to see if it leads to a, a loss of steering as well, because that is a thing. All ships that have radars will now be configured individually, depending on their model and generation. So there will be a difference in the behavior of radar. It won't just all work the same anymore. Older radars will have ground clutter and probably ghost signatures and that sort of thing. Um, there have been some changes to the armor schemes of the Lorraine with a decrease in the deckhouse roof. The Paris has had some changes. Portland has had armor increases. Fuzo's had its guns changed. There's a bunch of changes here and I will leave a link so that you can read them. Uh, interesting to note that Poltava and the uh, Perushka Comuna will have their armor decreased on the turret fronts and sides by 50 millimeters, which is a, a substantial amount. That is 20% decrease in the armor. And a uh, super vague post about the Shan horse saying that there's been some corrections to its armor and internal modules. If you know what that is, let me know in the comments. There's been a lot of visual changes coming with this patch. These ones are just mainly fixes to the different uh, models as such. 
fixing up where the ship's bells are, how big they are, where the flags go, some uh, changes to the alignment of weapons, etc. Another another big thing that is really going to affect the meta of a lot of games and how you play is that dynamic repair costs will be enabled for the life for low lifetime. Like so, if you're not alive very long, you're not going to pay full price. So if you get shot down within 30 seconds then you won't pay full repair price, which is priceless. But it is worth noting that if you J out of your vehicle, it seems like you will pay the maximum repair. So if you willingly commit suicide, uh, end your crew's life, so to speak, then you will pay full price for that. There's been the rework for all of the uh, air trees to fold the vehicles and uh, minimize the costs there, as well as uh, the revision of the blue water ships which i have discussed in a previous video if you haven't seen that check that out also ijn momi is now the new reserve ship for the japanese blue water tree and mutsuke will move to a parallel branch still being in rank one but she will no longer be the three life reserve ship that she was previously also a lot of access to camouflages are coming uh, it should be easier to earn those for your ships and we will also have the ship flags i put up a community post about ship flags there'll be nation flags as well as piracy pirate flags ah um, and as well as the conditions for completing these tasks have been changed significantly uh, all the photographs for all of the stat cards will be replaced and they will all be of a uniform style which will be exciting to see ship protection analysis and aircraft have been added as a threat so you should be able to test aircraft weapons against ships now in the uh, hangar as well testing aircraft weapons and there are a bunch of graphical updates i would say that this is probably going to be the graphical update of the year there's so much more stuff being added in the uh, post-processing side of things there will be new weather effects as well as the ability to change those in custom battles, fog, low clouds, and storm clouds. There'll be new sounds. I'm always skeptical about sound updates, but the US naval crews have been given a voiceover. Not such a fan of them, but we will probably grow to love them. As well as the addition of Bitch and Betty and Rita to certain aircraft, mainly helicopters for Rita, and Betty is added to the F-16, I believe. There was a question and answers done by the devs for the last dev server and here are the answers here will the mig-29 be getting r73s and r27 ets the answer is yes for them but will the f-16 get the aim9m and they're looking at adding aim9ms to the f-16 the barak the harrier gr7 and the italian av8 harrier as well as matra 550s number twos to the Mirage 2005 F, which would be interesting. And AIM-7 M's have been added to the Barak 2, which will be useful, very useful. If you want to read through the question and answers, just pause the video. There's a quite a lot to go through there and I don't want to answer your, uh, to waste your time. The big question that I want to see answered is that there's no top tier jets for Sweden, Great Britain in this patch. And there haven't been for a while. But there are plans to add both new Swedish and Great Britain top tier jets later in the year. Which is exciting because I really want the Gripen. Aside from that, that's pretty much all I want to go over. I'm sure that there are other people out there that do the other news much better than I do. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Because I'm pretty excited to see how this damage model system will play out i really want torpedo play to come back into the forefront because it truly is the best part of naval there were some questions about the destruction of uh the destruction of the decorations they didn't look very cool and it was a little bit annoying a lot of people weren't happy about the smoke grenades so there's been some tweaking to that and yeah anyway i won't waste any more of your time guys feel free to keep reading through until next time, Commander Tyrael out.